Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border? Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Why don't you sit a while? Yes. Yes, I did. I never liked her. I know. You already told me that. Ideas above her station. Above anyone's station, that one. How you doing? John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, you, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> You're filthy again, Mr. Morgan. Not now. You should be ashamed of yourself. A grown man covered in shit like this. No. Okay. Let's go.
Here. <laughs> Some money for your trouble. Well, thank you kindly. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so. Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Hey, slow down a bit. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. What my folks say? They're left here, towards Rhodes. So, anyway, you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar. Think you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning? You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's necessary. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we'd lock the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here.
Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Bastard. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. no you get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. Adverse to conflict, my dear. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Please, please. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Just to conflict, my dear. Money, valuable. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay, okay. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I'm gonna count to three. God damn it! Oh, Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Which, uh, you sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time? Are you Quick, sure, this on. son of a bitch? We ain't playing around here. Everything you got, money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Please don't, don't help me. Ah! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I'll do anything. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? Don't do this. Je ne peux pas mourir maintenant. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Get up, you little Irish shit. Get up. Need some help here, boy? I'll miss you, brother. Bloody fuck! This time I'll look and you provide the cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? 
There's a few more of them turning up. Me and my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. Won't tell you again. Come out now. Shit, we got more on the left. Oh, 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 oh. through the trees, you see them? Stop in the name of the goddamn wall. Put another one in here. Gotta finish this. You need to stop right there. Do that. Oh. Get rid of them quick. We're gonna make a run. Ah. Look out behind us. Coming in on horses. Ah. Hey, oh, get out of there. Oh. On. Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. 